Don't move. Stay just where you are. No, no. No, 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 no. Not that. Lefty! You! Ah! Don't shoot him! Quiet, you. This is a stag bumping off party. Ah! Oh. 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 Not again, Jimmy. Don't shoot again, Jim. <laughs> so you're yellow, huh? Put your cat away, Jimmy. You got the dago all wrong. Wrong nothing. He's going to have a gunmetal finish. Oh, give me a break, Jimmy. I'm not a squealer, honest, I ain't. Oh, don't give me the works here. No, not here. I thought so. Yellow. Just plain yellow. Thanks. Well, that's that. See you at the radio ball tonight, I suppose? Yes, I'm off to change now. No, I can't. I've got another talk to do yet. <laughs> Poor Uncle Bartholomew. Yes. Poor public. So long. Hello, boy. Stately Homes of England series, talk number five. Navestone Towers. Navestone Towers? Mm -hmm. Kind of an old ruin, that. <laughs> Search me. <clears throat> the national program, speaking to all stations. I will now continue my weekly talk on the stately homes of England. This week I propose to tell my listeners all about Navestone Towers. A typical old English manor house, which, with its ivy-clad walls and battlemented towers, is indeed one of the most beautiful homes in the county. Let us peep inside the great hall itself, where figures in armour stand guard over huge mullioned windows with their valuable leaded lights. Grand old stuff-coloured stone from the local quarries and great oak beams support the minstrel gallery, unspoiled and unaltered since they were first constructed about the year 1620. This stately old manor house is the residence of Sir Jeremy Tucker, ninth baronet and the last remaining male descendant of a noble family. Daddy! Daddy, wake up! I'm going to you, talking about us. <coughs> Inside the great hall at Naveston, alas, we see signs of decay. It is all too plain, too plain that this grand old home has fallen on evil times. No longer does one witness the lavish hospitality, which once made the name of Tucker a byword throughout the county. What presumption, Sir Jeremy? Oh. Daddy. That fellow knows too much. But how nicely he puts it. It's a pleasure to listen. Pleasure? <laughs> is that what you call it? It's a pleasure to me. At least, that voice is. That's not a voice, it's a complaint. Well, I love it anyway. I think it's most attractive. So it might be, shouting coal. I don't ask for much, just to listen to the Tholomew's voice for a little while each day. He must be wonderful. Nonsense, my dear. He, 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 you've never even seen the fellow. I know. No such luck. No such luck? Why, he's... He's probably some father of a family. Oh, Daddy. White-haired, stoutish, countrified, bad-tempered old... How do I know what he's like? I never go anywhere to see. I got Angela. Angela's a gadabout. And I'm the maid of all work. No, no, my dear. Oh, yes, I am. A blooming Cinderella. Angela can go off to parties while I... Daddy. Perhaps you'll bring home a rich husband one of these days. Someone who'll take pity on your poor old North Wing. Someone is sure to fall for her. Oh! I fall for myself. Shall I? Oh no, and they ruined my underslung chassis. Mumford, you might stick a red light over the danger zone. So you have missed Oh, my one and only pair. Stick a button on it, will you? I'll do that, Angela. Thank you, Tommy. You ought to be more careful. Careful? I am. You are Freddy. Freddy? Who's Freddy? My new meal ticket. Just Freddy. Who is he? The latest? Hmm. He's very susceptible. You keep off the grass. <laughs> Freddy? Tommy! 
there. Tell me, I've only just found him myself. Lovely, Freddy. <laughs> no. You must never appear too anxious. Hello, Faye. Hello, hello. Are we going places? Oh, rather. On my special tonight, we're going to the radio ball. The radio ball? Sounds pretty awful. Do I wear my hair, you? I don't know. Just a minute, Freddy. Mumford, my rest will now. Aren't you lucky, Angela? The radio ball. Perhaps you'll see Uncle Bartholomew there. <laughs> I should worry. It's up to me to find a husband, not an uncle. Don't wait up for me. All right. Mumford, yes, what's the time? 5.27, Tommy. Sea of Warwickshire. And that concludes my talk about Navistone Towers. I must confess I'd very much like to visit this delightful tumble-down old spot myself. But I have to be content with reading about it from the notes I have in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, this boat race action will play the devil with my tonsils. Boat race? Yes, yes, Oxford and Cambridge. We'll take over a while when it's at home and change. Oh, so you'll have to hang on for a bit, Bill. I've got to do the regional. Uh, I'll be right back. Here's the junk. What's this? Weather, news, shipping for... Oh, damn and blast. Damming and blasting operations have been resumed on the Woolloomooloo Canal. Before... Pardon. <clears throat> Before I announce the weather and news, I have a short announcement to make. We are broadcasting a somewhat unusual running commentary from the Radio Ball this evening. Partner, look, load not to exceed three tons. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Uncle Bartholomew broadcasting from the radio board. Everybody's here tonight is Uncle Walker, Auntie Winnie, Cousin Mabel, and old Uncle John. Oh, it's a wonderful sight on the floor. Everybody's here. I see beauties of the stage and screen. <laughs> Famous athletes and he men, <laughs> talented musicians, painters. Well-known financiers and philanthropists. And of course, there's our own crown. <laughs> oh, and the dresses. I was trying to describe one of the dresses to you. It's a, it's a sort of... Uh, it's a well, perhaps I'd better not. This is London calling. <laughs> All stations from the British Isles. Yes, and passing regions far. Weather report. <laughs> Weather generally will be intolerable. Winds will be southerly, veering from Brighton and the south coast to southwestern, great western, London, midland and Scottish. There will be occasional showers accompanied by a continual downpour in all districts, uh, except Manchester. O o owing to the wet summer, 50,000 sun worshippers have joined the Baptists. Before I go any further, I have an SOS. Uh, will Mr. Hopkinson, pronounced Wilkinson, who left his home this morning, believe suffering from loss of memory, return immediately? His wife will give him his trousers. Freddy! Hello, Billy! Oh, son, you must meet Angela. Oh, I must. Freddy, tell me all about you. Oh, why hadn't he told me about you? Oh, this is Angela. Busy dancing? Oh, no, not yet. Freddy was just... Never mind about Freddy. Next 18 of mine. Oh, but Freddy didn't... Never Freddy... mind about Freddy. As I said before, Freddy's tired, aren't you, Freddy? Of course he is. Very tired. Freddy gets short-winded playing chess. I said it's a bit hot, isn't it? Isn't it? Slip along and get some ice drinks, Freddy. Go on. Come on, Angela, don't mind. No, of course not, Freddy. Oh, Push off. Push off, boy. Put your hat on. There's a woodpecker about. <laughs> Good old Freddy. You know, I like you. Yes, I must see more of you. You must come out and have some tea with me at my place, will you? Yes, I'd love to. Bring some tea. I think we have a cup. <laughs> Good old Freddy. Here we are. What are these, Freddy? A Shakespearean cocktail. Shakespeare, eh? How do you like it? Shakespeare. Smells more like Milton. Hmm? Oh, yes. Half a tick, folks. Stop. Friends, 
Roman customers. This is the supper interval, and for no apparent reason, Mr. John Rinders and his band will play the theme song from Out of the Blue. the run down. You know that. You'll have to swing the old lady. Mine doesn't fly out of your hand. That's where we don't speak to me so without stopping for things. Oh, have a heart, Freddy. I don't do 50 miles to the gallon. I'm, I'm, I'm an old model. Go on, swing her up. You're lazy. Don't sing, Freddy. I hate it. I'm not singing. Radically wrong here. Go right for oil. Something wrong here, Freddy. Oh, something wrong, right? There it is again. Wouldn't it be nice, would it? Oh, this is it. Look, here. How much do you earn with that coat? About a penny a pub. Well, here. You move up twelve pubs. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. It's Freddy's shilling. <laughs> well, you've understood, Bill, that when I get to Nielsen, I'm off. Across my dead body first. You got me into this. You've got to help me out of it. I got you into it. Well, you introduced me to Angela. Well, I took Angela Ball to express purpose of proposing to her. And before I can say a word in you, Steph, and she accepts you. All right, just my bad luck. Don't rub it in. And hey, they're my pajamas. Oh, I say, Freddy, look what you've done. Oh, Sammy. She's working, Freddy. Oh, come on, start her up. Hey, Freddy, don't let your clutch in like that, man. Come on, we're off to neighbors. Look out for that car, Freddy. Uh, tell me, Bill, as a pal, do you really love Angela? Love her? How can I love a bridge father who goes abundance? Oh, then why did you propose to her? I don't know. The night was young, the brandy was old, there was a sound of distant music. I asked for her telephone number, she said, why? I said, I want to give you a ring. She said, diamonds, darling, and here we are, off to ask for Daddy's consent. Yes, and you know I worship the very ground Angela walks on. Well, you dig it up, nobody will stop you. No, Bill, no, you must carry on for Angela's sake. Why? I don't want to marry Angela. I can't afford to marry anyone. And why not? You can live as cheaply as one. I know, but not as quietly. Yes, and then there's her father. Yes. Very. I wonder what the old boy is. Well, Angela says he's a gentleman farmer. Ha <laughs> ha! I know, milk cow's gloves on. <laughs> Angela? Yes, Tommy? What sort of a man is this, Bill? 
Oh. Good looking. And slim. I was hoping he'd be fat. What? Fat men can starve longer. Oh. Oh, Angela. Oh. Really, the domestic drudgery is more than I can cope with. I do do my best with this knitting. Hello, Daddy. There. What do you think of that? Now we shan't starve. <laughs> Rabbit. And I need silver fox. Oh, Daddy. Your boots are down there. On the word, I, I don't know what I should do without you. Oh, Daddy, Mr. Blair telephoned. Yes, he's calling this morning. Then I'm out. But, Daddy, you can't treat him like that. After all, he did make you a very generous offer for the house. Generous thing, it is. It's you he wants, not the power. Don't listen to my father. He's much too old. Just because he proposed to me was turned down, nothing at all to do with it. Now, Smith. What on earth do you think you're doing, Angela? Now, me not. He loves me. And he was engaged. What? Engaged? Without my permission? Who is he? His name's Bill. Bill? Bill who? Bill Sykes? No, just plain Bill Coverdale. Never heard of him. What is his? I hope he's a shoemaker. And upon my word. Do you mean to say a daughter of mine could... Why, I, I'll... I'll... You'll do nothing of the kind. Now, Daddy, smarten yourself up a bit. It would be awful if he didn't approve of you. Approve of me? Tell me I like that. Of course you like him. He's awfully clever. And fearfully interested in Tudor architecture. Isn't he, Angela? What? Oh, yes. Yes. Is yes. why he wants to marry Angela? So that he can get to know you. Mm, well, he sounds sensible. Rather. You never know. When he's your son-in-law, he may even help you to restore the North Sea. Well... Perhaps I had better tidy up a bit. Oh, I should. Morning, Mother. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Jeremy in? Well, sir, he is. I see. He is, son, he is. What? what? Well, I'm doing it. Oh, Mr. Blair. Uh, is, is Miss Judy staying out there, sir? Yes. Miss Judy's in my bad books, Mumford. Oh, sir. Not the young gentleman again, sir. That's it. A fellow by the name of Green, this time. Robin Green. Know him, Mumford? Green? Robin Green? No, sir, I don't. Neither will his mother when I meet him. Oh, Mr. Blair, girls will be girls, <laughs> no, sir. Well, that's just what I'm worrying about. Uh, I'll inform Sir Jeremy. Well, I'll be in the stuff. Very good. Don't fret. You always drive as fast as that. Oh, uh, no. Not when I'm driving friends. Yes, I, I thought you were trying to kill me. Yes, I was. And myself. Uh, well, half your ideas are good. Uh, well, here we are, and there's uh, the Tucker's family seat. Yes, looks as though the family sat rather heavily, Freddy. Oh, no, 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 Billy, this is the way in. I know my place. This is the tradesman's entrance. Mm -hmm. No, no, Freddy, let's go back. Oh, no, Bill, no. It's duty, duty. It's all very well. I know, Bill. Now, listen. Well, when you see the old man, you just go up there and you say, Ah, oh, sir. That's good, yes, yes. I, I turn to ask your daughter's hand in the And then you just, uh, just walk away. Oh, oh, it's simple, isn't it? Simply go up and say, Sir, I have come to ask your daughter's hand in marriage. And then walk away. Ah. Uh, 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 and then he'll, uh, he'll say no. Yes. How do you know he'll say no? Well, what else could he say? Why, do you think the old boy will turn me down? Of course. Good. Yes, but uh, that won't make any difference to Angela. No. Oh, no, no. She's a girl that will stick to you through thick and thin. You're right, Freddy. Yes. But, Bill, ask her to think kindly of me when I've gone. Yeah, but you're not going. You're going to stay here and put up a fight for her. Well, did you think I could win her back? Win her back? You may win all of her. Bill! Look out, Freddy. Hello, Bill, darling. Oh, hello, hello, Angela, darling. What's the matter? Who lives on the side of the house? Oh, nothing. It's sort of safety first, you know. What's the matter, 
Well, dear, your collar's too tight. Well, dear, just the Adam's apple falling off the stalk. <laughs> Surely that can't be credit. Oh, impossible, darling. Somebody must have left it. Oh, yes, it is Freddy. Well, oh, I didn't notice Freddy before. Oh, but you must, darling. You must get in the habit of noticing Freddy. Well, what are you down here for? It's time to win her back. Back, back a winner, darling. Yes. Well, Bill, aren't you going to kiss me? Oh. Yeah, of course I am, darling. Well, yes. what are you waiting for? Nothing, darling. I was thinking of the boy. Oh, Freddy doesn't mind, do you, Freddy? Oh, no, no, no. What a help. All right, now, pucker up your lips, close your eyes, and see what I'm going to give you. Keep your eyes closed, dear. Mm -hmm. There. Oh. oh, Bill, that was the most wonderful kiss I've ever had. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what Freddy thought, dear. Oh, Bill, you're marvellous. Yeah. Now, come on, Bill, darling. I tell Father all about it. He's dying. Splendid. See you. Yeah. Come along, Freddy. Now, Bill, you will be tactful, won't you? Of course, Andrew. Quite easy. I shall simply say, um, Bill, this is father. I see. I say, don't apologize. Mine's just as bad. Oh, Bill, is it? Where's the luggage? Oh, in the car. Oh, I'll fetch it for you. Oh, no, you don't. I'll go. Oh, no, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> Dear old Freddy. <laughs> My privilege, Freddy. I want to go. But I want to go, too. Yeah. Then we'll both go. Not a bit of use, my dear Blair. My mind is made up. I will not sell. Oh, listen to reason. Reason? We tuckers have lived here for 400 years and we've never listened to reason. You talk of making this place into a country club. It's, it's sacrilege. It isn't sacrilege. It's sense. Sense? It's nonsense. Now, I seem to be getting your goat. You're not getting my goat. Nor my ox, nor my ass, nor my doctor Tommy, nor anything that is mine. Now, I... This place is one of the show places of England. Show place? But that's what I want it for. Why, that panel room in there would make a fine dressing room for some of my dancing girls. Dancing girls? Dancing girls in Queen Anne's bedroom? How's he going to affect her? She's dead. Now, Sir Jerry, listen, listen, dear sir. Don't you realize the Bishop of Uxter is my neighbor? Well, we shall have to tell the girls to keep their blinds down. Oh, oh now come, Sir Jerry. Now look, Sir Jerry, I'll, I'll raise my arm. No, sir. If I sold this place, I should be selling my soul. This place is me. Oh, now listen. And it don't keep waving that thing in my face, sir. All very well. But I'll stay here in case you change your mind. I want to see Tommy, Eric. I shall not change my mind. And that Tommy takes after her father. Judy. Look here, Uncle. I'm expecting my boyfriend. How long have I got to wait in that car? Until you are told otherwise. But I can't sit for hours looking on the back of the driver's neck. There's only one neck I'm interested in. Yes, your boyfriend. Well, don't let me catch him round yours or I'll break his. But Uncle... Robin Green's going to be my fiancé. And he'll be here at any moment. What? Here? Yes, here. You see, I, I fixed a date with him. He's got a dinky little two-seater, and he's going to drive me back. Oh, is he? You go and sit in my car like a good girl. Good girls don't sit in cars. They get out and walk. Do as I tell you. Robin Green. I'll settle with him, whoever he is. So there you are. So you're the young fellow that wants to marry my girl. You're... Oh, of course. Now I understand. <clears throat> Sir. <laughs> I am a good, clean, honest Englishman. Oh, look. <gasps> You're as crazy as she is. Oh, I'm worse. How do you do? I'll tell you how I do. 
I horsewhip young fellows who come hanging around my girl. You understand? Oh, perfectly. You make it so clear. <laughs> I never expected to like you, but you're, you're worse than I thought. <laughs> That's funny. So are you. Yes, I see you've seen you somewhere before. Now, where? Let me think. I know. Hanging up in the back window of a saloon car. <laughs> oh, if you looked in a mirror, you would be discouraged, you little son <laughs> of nothing. Come here. <laughs> Listen to me. Not of all attention. Why, you miserable little lounge lizard. <laughs> oh, well. That got rid of him. <laughs> I, I thought you were there. Of my mind. Oh, that wouldn't be a drive. That's only a putt. Oh. You, I'll see you later. Yeah. Not if I see you first. All right, Freddy. You can put them back, old boy. We shan't need them. Why, uh, what's the matter? What's the matter? We are halfway home. Oh, good. You, you've seen Angela's father? Seen him, he's gone to tell the dog about me. Oh, he, he doesn't like you. He gave me that impression. I'll put this in the car and get my hat and coat. Yes, Freddy, but... look out for the old boy. He's dangerous. Someone's been giving him meat again. Ah, oh, my boy. I see you brought your luggage. Angela's told me all about you. Uh, about me? Yes, now I, I want to have a serious talk with you uh, about Angela's future. Uh, who is me? Yes, you uh, see, my boy, I have very strong views about the sort of man I want my girl to marry. Oh, I understand, of course. I of want course. Angela's husband to be an upright, hard-working, sober man. Yes, but he's none of those. Not hard-working? Uh, no. no. Not sober? Uh, seldom. I, I like your candor, young man, but bless me so like... What is your income? What uh, I income? If any. Well, it's, it's about uh, about ten thousand a year. Really? Well, uh, that's near enough. Not at all. Uh, let's come a bit closer. Uh, tell me now, if you married Angela, would you help me restore the North Wing? If I if I married Angela, I'd do anything. Give me your hand, my boy. I'm proud of you. Of course you drink. So do I. Angela couldn't have chosen more wisely, bless her. No, but uh, aren't you making a mistake? My boy, if you've got 10,000 a year, there can be no mistake. Uh, no, no, of course, no. <laughs> now, my boy, I'm sure you'll agree. When you see the North Wing... Hello, Tommy. Well, Daddy. I want you to meet someone. Guess who it is. I think I know already how to do it. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, thank you. Uh, how do you do? Angela tells me he's staying a month. Uh, no, but really, no. Oh, of course. No. Of course you are, my boy. Now, I I'm going to take him to see the North Wing. Yes, but I, I, I don't want to go. I, I, I want to stay. Uh, 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 uh. Coat is all clear, Freddy. And... Freddy. Freddy. Oh, Freddy. Freddy. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Good night, everybody. Good night. Please say that again. Say, say what again? What you just said. Good night, everybody. Good night. I believe it's you. Yes. Yes, I believe it is. How did you get? The voice. The voice I listen to every night. You're the man I dust every morning. 
Your Uncle Bartholomew. Yes, all complaints must be sent to Portland Place. But what are you doing here? Well, I'm, I'm on a sort of a holiday. A friend of Angela's brought me here. Oh, now I understand. But she didn't tell me you were coming. No. I, I think she told her father. Have you met him? Oh, rather. We struck up an acquaintance immediately. Well, the point is you're here. And I'm terribly glad. Are you? I've always tried to imagine what you were like. Yes? And you're not a bit like it. Yes, don't bother to come to the door. I'll find my own way out. Oh, I, I didn't say I was disappointed. I'm not. Not a bit. I'm glad. Yes. What sort of a holiday do you have up till now? Oh, stormy with bright intervals. You're one of the bright intervals. <laughs> oh, I hope you can stay. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd love, love to, of course. How long for? I, I've got enough luggage to stay a month. Two months if I turn the collars. <laughs> when I first saw you, I thought you were good. Oh, that's funny. So did I. And John Mark? No. Not now. Thanks, Barney. Give me your hat. Yes. And your coat. And your bag. Oh, no, no, please. Oh, that way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, you'll be a great help to me. I always follow your cookery, Henry. Oh, thank heavens. I brought sandwiches. It must be wonderful being on the wireless. Wonderful? What an extraordinary sense of humor you have. Can you imagine me at 5.30 every evening saying happy birthday to little Willie? If you look under Mummy's pillow, he will find her teeth. Oh, now you're finished. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. No, please go on talking. I love it. What would you like me to say? I don't care what you say. As long as I can listen. Oh, but I'm... Yes. Face you have here, isn't it? Yes, it is, of course. But I see it every day. Yes, that does make a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> of course. Yes. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> How affectionate these waste paper baskets really are. Do you play the piano? No, I don't. No. Oh, I am disappointed. I quite thought you would. And I love the piano. Oh, the piano? Oh, rather, I play the piano. Yeah, I, I thought you meant the harp. I mean, <laughs> the piccolo. You know, the. the uh, the cello. Don't bother. What will you play? Well, I think about a minute and stop. What would you like? Three blind mice? Or locked in the stable with the sheep? Oh, don't be absurd. Play the moonlight tomorrow. Oh, I never stay up that late. Right, everybody plays that. I like to be different. After all, there's no need for us to be formal in the normal way. We've so much more to say. Then what a charming day. I think we'd find useful employment and enjoyment too. If you made love to me and I made love to you. Let's be sentimental, romance is accidental. And meet a little gentle, reminding love needs finding. Let's be sentimental now. Say you're glad you met me, and swear you can't forget me. Declare you'll never let me desert you. Love won't hurt you. Let's be sentimental now. If you can try, try, that's the way of showing what your heart is going through. I'll hold your hand, and very soon you see me looking rather dreamy, too. Make the old confession with every old expression. Pretend you want obsession is my love. Why not try not? Sentimental 
Did I stop you? No. Just that missed off the sunflower. You know, Dummy, as I told you, a girl like you with a voice like yours shouldn't be wasting her time with the best. Have you considered this book that I made you? Oh, it's easy. Eddie wouldn't have an article. Oh, you know. You come and sing in my cabaret, yes, dear. He'll change his mind when he sees your name at the top of the bills, starving. Get his name at the top of quite a lot of bills. We're starving. <laughs> <laughs> That's Judy. Oh, why doesn't she come in? Ah, never mind about Judy. There's my address in Beerus. If you change your mind, we'll have the band at the station to meet. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming. Don't forget. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here? The usual. I see. Justin Bartholomew, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, I had no idea you worked here. Allow me. Of course I work here. What did you think? I didn't think. I didn't give it a thought. I'd never seen you in the tapestry before. Do you mind? My, of course I don't mind. Work and soil and all that kind of thing. I'll draw on what is worth. I thought you wouldn't know. Oh. I walked right into that one. <laughs> I'll take your bag upstairs. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 please. It's much too heavy. Now, let me take it. But I must say your things. No, dear, you might not like my things. My socks are full of holes. I'll darn them for you. All right, well, when you get to the 19th hole, I'll buy you one. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me you drink. Of course I don't drink. That's bay rum. It's on the label. No, oh, the label's a libel. Oh. These are pretty snappy. Oh, Scott. They're my Bella Clavers. Your what? My Bella Clavers. Half a leg, half a leg, half a leg onward. <laughs> well, well. I said you wouldn't like them. Now, I must go up and make your bed. And are these two dear little hands going to make my bed? Of course. I shan't sleep a wink. Oh, yes, you will. And if you're a very good boy, I'll bring you up a cup of tea in the morning. Oh, marvellous. And I'll jump out of bed and bring you one. Oh, but you mustn't come in. Of course not. We'll squirt it through the keyhole. Oh, I must have. No, you mustn't. But I must. Oh, but you mustn't. I want to talk to you. <laughs> I see. Talking aloud. <laughs> get a restoration in hand at once, my boy. Uh, there is a firm here who are very excellent at that sort of thing and uh, could undertake it immediately, I'm sure. How interesting, how interesting. What's all the excitement about? Angela, your fiancé is one of the finest men who ever breathed. A son-in-law to be proud of. That's Bill? Not Bill. No, that's Freddy. I'm not engaged to him. Uh, something, something wrong, Angela? This is Bill. This is my fiance. Auntie Darling. Oh, um, 
Look, this is my sister. Your sister? How to do? Hmm. I hope you like each other. Oh, we do. I mean... Oh, please, I can explain everything. Most men can. I'm not listening. Thomas, why did you allow me to make this awkward mistake, Angela? Well, I don't know anything about it. It seems that Freddy isn't safe all the lead. But uh, well, what about my north wing? It seems you had better accept Mr. Blair's offer after all. Never. Then I will. What do you mean? He says he can make my name, and I'm going to let him. He wants me to sing at one of his hotels, and I'm going. My daughter a cabaret performer? With our family traditions? Family traditions? What are they? Servants, unpaid. Tradesmen clamoring with their bills, are they? Stretching in the height of fashion. At other people's expense. Family traditions. It's all a sham. In future, I earn my own living. Singing for my supper. It may not be the family tradition, but damn it, it's honest. With the hotel full of people, the world's flyers expected at any moment, every seat booked for the cabaret tonight, <laughs> what's come over you? That is indeed the trouble. Our chief attraction, the Princess Paula Karazov, mm. she says she is prevented from coming here tonight by affairs of state. Bankum. She isn't a real princess anyway. She's probably gone back to her husband in Ealing. But we had advertised her all over town. Well, then we must find a substitute. Uncle, here she is. Ah, this is my proud privilege to welcome the Princess Paula Karazov, Russia's Royal Riot of Rhythm. What do you mean? My dear Tommy, you couldn't have come at a more opportune moment. You're going to get your chance tonight. But, Mr. Blair... Everybody is expecting to see the Princess, with a smile as bright as a diamond and a winking short for five million dollars. I am an honest showman and I won't disappoint my public. They paid to see the Princess and they're going to see her. You shall be the Russian princess. But I can't speak the language. Well, neither can she. But you can speak broken English, can't you? Well, I'm English, and I'm certainly broke. <laughs> but I don't look like a princess in these clothes. Ah, oh, well, I'll soon fix that. Take the lady down to Plancettes. You tell her that you've come from me, and I'll speak to her on the telephone. Get yourself a nice dress, Tommy. Come on, Judy. <laughs> What's the matter? Shall I get you some water? Water? What do you think I am? A flying fish? Oh, boy, oh I feel dreadful. <laughs> please, 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 please do it. There's some awful mistake. I wish you'd go away. Of course, look, there's a real one. Oh, wow. oh. However, did they know we were coming? Well, bad news travels fast. Come on. <laughs> Second landing. Oh, do you please, oh, no, 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 no. oh, go away, will you please? Go away. Go 
see a doctor better. Did you lose your coat? I've lost all three, soup, fish, and the entree. Ah, uh, never mind. You come with Rosa, and she will soothe you and uh, rub your bump. You, you don't huh? know where they are, honestly, you don't. Who is this creature, Bill? I don't know, I don't know. I think she's the vicar's wife, dear. Stand by, she's got my wavelengths. Later I return, when you are disengaged. Until then... Au revoir. Au revoir. Adios. Adios. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Au revoir. Oh, what you just said. Yes. How'd you like to sing with Bill? Well, that bit wasn't bad, was it? Oh, he means from the plane on the way over. Oh, I don't know. I've been unconscious since Tunbridge Wells. Look out, Bill. Here they are. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're making a mistake, I tell you. Monsieur, s'il vous plaît, ayez la bonté de signer mon livre d'autographe. Ce sera si gentil. All right, we'll call that a date. Oh, vraiment. Oh, s'il vous plaît, moi. No, you're making a mistake, I tell you. I am not Amy Johnson's father. Home from home. Home from home. Oh, Freddie, you can't be as bad as all that. No, but Tom is about her somewhere. Oh, well, I hope she is. You seem very anxious about her. Ever since she left, you've done nothing but look up and down timetables. Please don't keep saying up and down. Oh, well, I'll go make inquiries about her. Poor oh, Daddy, what will he think? You know, I expect she's doing a turn in some cabaret. Very well, I'll search every cabaret in the place. I won't leave a turn on stone. I fixed it all. The princess will positively appear. Oh, this is splendid. I am so glad, monsieur. Tommy's arrival is a pleasant surprise. Yes, and I've got another. Mm -hmm. What's that? Somebody else is coming, too. Who? Robin Dean, my boyfriend. If you mention Robin Green's name to me again, I'll... Have you finished? I'll finish him. Why, he'll spoil everything. He knows Tommy. And he doesn't like me. He won't give the show away. If you're nice to him. Go on, Uncle. Take back all you said. Oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. You had twice the brains you've got now, you'd be half-witted. Yes, but I say, Billy. You haven't done one darn thing towards winning that girl back yet. Well, I'm trying. Yes, you are, very. Only two words are to describe what I think of you. I'm too young to know them. Tell her I'm a blackguard, a rotter, a cad. Yes, well, she knows that. Yes. What? Well, I love every hell that goes kid. Yeah, well, go for a bald-headed. Oh, I can see what you need. You need courage, courage, and plenty of it. You shall buy some. Wait up. Six dry martinis. Oh, six? Yes, your turn to pay. Oh, waiter, get seven. My friend will have one. Ready. Ready. Hello, hello. Can you run? Yes, brother, yes. Well, now's your chance. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! No, wait a minute. Well, gentlemen, this is a pleasure. It is my proud privilege to welcome the greatest airman. Oh, well, I know how to treat you. That's all right, we'll go quietly. But I've no idea that you were the world's flyers. Welcome, welcome. You mean Freddy, there's a catch in this. Yes, but I say. Keep quiet and don't argue. But can't I say a word? Shut up. The elephant's trunk must be full of water. Waiter, waiter. These gentlemen be my guests at dinner. We'll have two magnums and the best cigar. Oh, Freddy, cigar. Do you believe in Santa Claus? I'm afraid I was a little hasty with you the last time that we met. But now I want to welcome you to my hotel. Your hotel? Of course, I'm Bannister Blair. You remember dear old Bannister, surely. We used to slide down here when we were boys. I, uh... I... Hmm. I... 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, have a real tie. What do you like? I, I'd like to let you two into a secret. There's a certain lady in this hotel. Oh. You won't split on me, will you? What do you think I am? A pair of cheap gloves? It's the Princess Paula Carroll. She's appearing here today, and uh, I think she'll be all right. Oh, I think so, wouldn't you, Freddy? Well, now, you two must be my guests. Order what you like and put it down to me. I'll give you the royal suite. No, no, don't bother. Freddy looks terrible in a crown. Well, my car is at your disposal. If you run short of money, just let me know. But mind, you're not to give me away. Give you, I wouldn't part with you for a fortune. Now, if anybody asks you, you've never seen the lady, you know nothing. I don't know a thing, and Fred is solid ivory from the neck up. Good. Then you stick to your side of the bargain, and I'll stick to mine. Yeah, this is going to be a sticky business. <coughs> oh, oh. Ah, we are awake, Freddy. Stop. Freddy, you've got to take the tortoise for a gallop. Tommy! Bill! What are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. I suppose it hasn't occurred to you. But it might be kinder to leave me alone. Especially after our last meeting. Tommy, you don't understand. I don't want to understand. You're engaged to Angela. And that's the beginning and the end of it. You mean that? As far as I'm concerned, absolutely. All right. We'll look up the return trip. Imperial Airways. Bill. Bill, dear. Tommy. Tommy. Bill. Bill, dear, can't you see how difficult you're making things? Oh, difficult for you, isn't it? Difficult for me all the time I'm trying to tell you that I love... Bill! Bill, dear, think what you're saying. Tommy, say what you're thinking. I'm not thinking. You are thinking. If you don't admit it now, I'll keep on until you do. Tommy, when we get back to England... I'm not saying that to you. I've got a job here. A job here? Yes. I'm the Princess Carabao. <laughs> you're what? The real Princess Carabao. And Mr. Blair is passing me off in her face. Blair? I'll see Blair. We'll buy him a canary. But still, Blair, don't do anything stupid. I can't come back with you. And anyway, what about Angela? After all, she's my sister. You're right, Tommy. What a blithering idiot I am. I think I made a bit of a mess of things, don't I, Tommy? It is a bit of a muddle, isn't it? Tommy, this is an impossible situation. Life is full of impossible situations. It seems, most of the time, we're giving up things we love. Say that again. Say what again? What you just said. I won't. Then I will. Then you mustn't. I never said it, and if I did, I didn't mean it. You did say it, Tommy, and you did mean it. Oh, please, Bill, dear. We're getting too serious. Yes, you're right, Tommy. Let's dance. Don't be dark, don't be shy. Summer's here, so am I. Don't look for a while I'm around. I feel sure you will say, this is your lucky day. Thank the Lord for what I found. I don't mean to throw away the time. Now I found you let me say that I'm glad to have you know me, glad to be your Romeo, to hang around you. I'm glad I found you. I started walking on air, like a haunted hand to care. Glad I'm here to take you, glad if I could make you glad that we're together, glad in any weather. Oh, Tommy, say that you do, feel glad I'm glad about, I'm just mad about, oh, I'm glad I met you. Oh, more. Emil! Just 
attend to that, will you? Yes, Mr. Blair. Yes, what is the matter with this band? Where is the drummer? He went out, sir. Oh, nonsense. Go and find another one. Millionaire's daughter. Mm-hmm. Quite a place you've got here, Mr. Blair. Well, I'm making a fortune, but I'm... I'm worried out of my life. Oh, let me share your worries. Well, you see, the band's here, but there's no drummer. Well, why worry about a silly little thing like that? Any blithering idiot can play a drum. Can you? I said any blithering idiot can play a drum. But can you really play the drum? I was born with drums in my ears. Every tap of tune, every rap of rhapsody. I wrote the silly symphony. Yeah, I'll sing it to you. I have opened no, no, my no, eyes. No, no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't yeah, matter. Perhaps you're right, yeah. You see, the trouble is... I've no drama for the princess. The princess? Here. What's this job worth? Anything you like. In reason. You put that out in black and white with a large siphon, I'm your man. Good. One moment. What's this drummer like? Oh, tall, yes. dark. Be me. He's good looking. It is me. It's all fixed. And he's got a little moustache. I'll go and pluck the toothbrush. Good. I won't be two minutes. Monsieur. Monsieur. Monsieur Vidalot. Oh, from the prefecture of police. Mr. Blair, it's the great... And what can I do for you? She princess Paula carries off. You have her? Yes. She's staying in my hotel, if that's what you mean. Ah. Then you have also perhaps a husband. A what? A husband. But the princess is not married. Monsieur is positive? Certain, sure, but why do you ask? It is because a heavy warrant for Prince Peter carries off for obtaining money and jewels under false pretenses. Well, you can take it from me, he's a fraud. Oh, I've known the princess for years. She's never even thought of getting married. Why, she's even refused me. Uh -huh. You do not surprise me, monsieur. Eh? No, 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 no. I mean about this husband of hers. You... It is an old trick. A group claims relationship with someone in the public eye. But I always get him in the end. Vigilor, never fail. Never! Oh, my she's been there. It is broken. Hold on. It is. <laughs> well, that's fine. Tell me, does the uniform fit you all right? Fits me like a set of sunscreens. Well, it doesn't really matter so long as you can play the drum. Play the drum when I was 14. I was drummer in the Biggles Wade Boy Scouts. Well, go and make yourself known to the other chaps. Morning, boys. <laughs> I'm the new drummer. I'll stay pleased to see me. What are you playing? That was great, eh? Well, maybe it's me that's wrong. And you? <coughs> Boy, that's nothing. You said it. Sound your A, please, Will. <coughs> Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, I pray your silence for one moment, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to present Princess Paula Carada. <laughs> Princess, won't you be the designer and for nine and thirty hope? I thank you. As you say in English, it is very kind, very kind indeed. Would your highness be gracious and condescend to come and dine at our table? A little later, perhaps. As you say in French, merci, merci. Beaucoup. 
I say, would your highness care for driving my car? I should love to, as we say in Russia. Russia. <laughs> Russia. You know, Russia. There we are. <clears throat> Russia. Boys, Russia. <laughs> Didn't you like it? Like it? I think it's dreadful. Boy, he didn't like it. So, well, Sharp needs this again. Well, that got rid of the face furniture, Mr. Blair. <laughs> uh, this is an Irish folk song, it's all. Bill! Bill! Ah, Hello. then you're is lonely, eh? Oh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm looking for someone. Good. I too look for someone. We look together, perhaps, yes? Oh, no, I want to see someone in service. Of course. Rosa will arrange that, too. Oh, no, no, no. No, you must understand my meaning. Thank God. Goodbye. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill, I've seen Tommy. Yes, so have I. Listen, baby, you've got to start winning Angela back from me at once. Every time I see her, she calls me... Well, she's got it wrong. She means rather. Rosa is waiting. Freddy? What's your little game? Yes, but you don't think it's... No, I don't think, but Angela might. Angela might. Freddy, what a brainwave. Angela's got to see things. What about me? No, if she's got to see me. Don't you understand if Angela catches me flirting that piece of old Madrid, she'll leave me flat. Freddy, here's the idea. I'll get hold of that girl. It's difficult, but I'll manage. You step along, bring Angela back here, in time to catch me flirting with a human love parade. She's in your arms before you know it. Now, do you know what you've got to do? I, I've got to bring Angela back here. That's right. Now, step along and hurry. Oh, and Freddy. Hello. Not too quick. You know, I mean, you to... <coughs> Home in every language. Ah, senor, this is indeed a pleasure. Pleasure? It's a godsend. Uh, you sit? Uh, not very much since I crashed, no. Ah, you women, you are so brave and so, uh, tender. Yes, I suppose we are. Yes, we are a little. I would love to fly. Were you really? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you be nervous? Oh, no, no. When I was very small, I lived for years on the edge of the sea. No, you very strong teeth. Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I think you have beautiful teeth. Teeth like pearls. Ah, pearls. How I love pearls. Yes, I was afraid of that, too. <laughs> now, speaking of eyes... Oh, no, no. We were speaking of uh, pearls. Yes, so we were, yes. Dear yeah, old pearls, jolly old pearls. Yeah, I think that'll be enough of that, won't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're silly, aren't you? Senor, you are hurting me. Oh, did I hurt you? What a brute I am. That comes of summer cruises in the Sudan. Let me kiss your hands make it better. Oh, senor, I have ten fingers, but only two. Whoopee! <laughs> the party's getting rough. Oh, Angela's got to hurry. Hello, Angela. Take uh, four steps forward, you see, and then you sort of slip into reverse and, uh, yeah. Tommy. Bill, I'm ashamed of you. Suppose I had been Angela and seen you. Tommy, I wanted Angela to see me. What? No, no, don't you understand? It's all a mistake. Please listen, Tommy. Don't touch me, please. Oh, Tommy looks dreadful. What must you think of me? 
perhaps this will show you. Come here, you. See what you've done with your old Spanish customs? Now listen, there's a horrible mistake happened. That's the girl I love. I don't love you. Tell her anything and I'll buy you what you want. You buy me a pearl? Oh, I'll open an oyster bar for you. Said, it's a bargain. I told you everyone that you do not love me. Yes. Eh? And uh, you buy me pearls. Oh, I'll scatter them before you. Oh, Bill, Bill, I've, uh, I've found you Angela. You blithering idiot, you're too late. When were you born? April 2nd. Oh, late again. Hello, Bill. Oh. Hmm? Ah, Mademoiselle, the Monsieur Lee said he make love to me. He kiss me. He lose what you say his um, head. And then he said to me, it is all a mistake, and I am to tell everyone. Ready? I'm surprised at you. After all you've been saying about Bill, too. Oh, well, uh, what have I done? Well, you heard what she said, didn't you? You've been making love to us. No, 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 no. I mean, this is all a mistake. It was I who made love to that poor, defenceless little girl. Do you expect me to believe that? Well, roughly, that's the idea. Oh, Bill, you are a dear. Miss? It's just like you to defend a friend. But I'm not, darling. The pity isn't more worthy of you. But he is. I think Wonderful of you to take the blame when the whole thing is Freddy's fault. But it isn't, darling. Why, you even took the risk of losing me. Yeah. But there's no fear of that. Oh. No. Tommy. I'm sorry, Mr. Blair, but something has happened that makes my stay here impossible. But why this not change? Well, you see, there's someone here who knows oh, me. Oh, I know who you're thinking about. But you needn't worry about him. I've squared him. No, you don't understand. I just can't see her. Well, of course, you're at liberty to do as you wish. Mr. Blair, you're making it very difficult for me. Well, then, I'll simplify. My principal object in asking you here was to give you time to reconsider your feelings towards me. But leave in a few days anyway. Say yes, Tommy, and we'll go off to London together. Oh. Here, what's all this? What's all what? You going away with Darwin's theory. What's that? Oh. Here, you can't go away like this. Here, wait a minute. Don't do... You're not going away with him. I am? You'll do nothing of the kind. Oh, no. Passing all... Hey, hey, oh. Oh. Look here. I'm running this hotel. I'm running this lift. You're... Just come in, my dear. Don't play the fool. I'm going down. Well, I'm best. Tommy, don't you realize what you're doing? What the devil are you insinuating? Everything. Bill! I say we are going up. Bill, please. If you don't stand away from that switch, I'll break your neck. You and who else? You've been waiting hours for this lift. Let go what that handle. Not if I know it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let go of that handle. Oh, I won't. I can this is getting ridiculous. I will not pull up. Let me go. There. What? Tommy, you're not going with him. By what right do you interfere? By every right. Listen, everybody. I am this lady's husband. See? Say that again? I am this lady's husband. Ah! Then I have a warrant for your arrest. What? Oh, there's some mistake. Hey. There is no mistake. This man is wanted for obtaining money and jewels under false pretenses. Oh, but... There's no mistake. He's an imposter, all right. I thought so when he asked if he could marry my niece. What? Yes, that's who he came here to see. Tommy, He's crazy is, about this. It isn't true. Oh, you come with me, please. Tommy. I'll go on the other. Who is this fellow you're Thank you. Oh. Here, I protest. Silence! I tell you, I protest. You will remain silent. Oh, who says so? I say so. Then it's unanimous. Yes. Attention. Find Paul Carazot. Je vous accuse d'avoir tenu illégitimement la somme de la ville sans enfant. Je vous accuse d'abord. And that, children, concludes today's French lesson. Oh! Can't you take your knitting somewhere else? Look here, I protest. I'm sure. I should say that. It is broken. Hey. Hey, you'll break my wrist. Hey, can't be playing something else. I'm a bad sailor. That's better. No, 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 no. Aren't you a mean sister? No, 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 no
Go on, it's your move. <laughs> Lifetime? You claim you are a British subject? I am, and very well connected. You speak only English? Not at all. I speak every language except Greek. Ah, you speak French? No. Spanish? No. Italian? No, they're all Greek to me. He is a well-known crook. Aha! Who's been eating my porridge? Ooh. We've been fetched into your past. Go ahead, you won't have a dull moment. Silence! Look here, I protest. I demand to see the British consul, don't we? We? No, us. Why did you not say so before? Hmm? I will telephone him. Oh, you. Monsieur. Pardon, monsieur. Oh, avez-vous la plume de ma mère? Oh, I say. You haven't got much in the kitty, have you? Ah, the police orphanage. You will give something, huh? Certainly. I'll send you a couple of orphans. Oh, for goodness sake, spread a chair up. Well, how can I? When Bill's in prison? Nonsense. They told me he was being escorted to the coast by the first train. Well, it's more than he deserves. <laughs> Angela, don't be so heartless. After all, he is your fiancé. He was. Was? Well, you don't suppose I'd go through with it now, do you? Bill doesn't care for me any more than I care for him. Our engagement was nothing but a joke from the start. Why, do you know, on the night he proposed to me, I don't believe he really knew whether I was Angela Tucker or... Queen of Sheba. Then why did you accept him? Oh, I don't know. To bring Freddie up to a scratch, I suppose. For me? Yes, what about it? Yes, but you, 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 you think I'm Bill will mind? Mind? Don't be silly. You'll be tickled to death. Bill's in love with Tommy. Anyone can see that. Angela, that's not true. It is true. And it's mutual. What does Mr. Blair think? Mr. Blair thinks that we are very near Paris. And he has a very important wire to send. And he's probably walking back to the coast. Hi. Oh. Bill. Oh, yes. Listen, life of the party. Supposing you had a girl who fell in love with your voice. And that girl had a father who lived in, a, in an old, old ruin. And you had a friend who fell in love with your girl's sister. Your girl got the huff, went off with a man who went in for breeding hotel. See? Then your girl, uh, your sister's girl, with, with, with a friend, see? With, she, with, with... Oh, well, if you're going to argue... And that while the set with you, that... Hey, say, can you hear me in the dark? This sir, he wanted your girl to do a song and dance on the veranda. Well, that was all very well, but it, it's the... Uh... Keep moving about, of Well, listen, unconscious, as I was saying. He wanted your girl to do a, a song and dance on the veranda, and, and your sister, that is the girl, the sister, the, 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 the sisters and brothers, I have none, but, no, listen, it, <coughs> what are you smoking? Celluloid collars? Listen, this man, he, he, he suggested to me that, that she should ride through the streets on a white horse with an apple on her head and said, shoot, father, I'm not afraid, and so the poor dog had none. And that concludes our talk on the delights of railway travel in France. Oh. Hi, Bill. There's a telegram for you. Thanks, old man. We expected you earlier. Yeah, I'm sorry. The people I was talking with pressed me to stay. Have a good time. I nearly did time. Tommy needs you. Further information, 8 p.m., 1,400 meters. Blair. We are now going over to the new Luxor Club, where you will be entertained by the Princess Paula Kazarov. <laughs> Patsy, take me to her, quick. Where to? Don't argue.
for me. Bill, 